left the sun of Mordor. After months and months of hype and speculation, No Man's Sky is finally rocketing into Earth's atmosphere this week. But what if you don't have a PS4 or PC to play it on? Well, if you're looking for sci-fi fun, you can seek out new life and new civilizations, then nick all their ore and insist they worship you as a god on your mobile device. Here are 10 of our favorite space adventure games on iOS and Android. <laughs> Arc Squadron Redux sits at the more arcadey end of our list. Think Star Fox, but without the chatty animals. It's got a lot going for it. Ace visuals, a combo system, decent upgrade tree, and it's available in both premium and free-to-play form. You won't be doing much trading or solving galactic conflicts, but you will get to blast a lot of aliens to space dust. Jumping straight to the more serious end of the spectrum, we have Vendetta Online. And by serious, we mean it'll take you two hours just to complete the tutorial and pass your mandatory flying test. But this ambitious MMO is all about scope, doing its level best to cram the full PC combat and space trading experience onto your tablet. It's tough going and far from perfect, but worth a look if you like your sci-fi hard. Let's talk seriously now. FTL is one of our favorite tablet games ever, and easily one of the best space-based sci-fi games on mobile. The battles are taut and tactical. The ship management system makes you feel like Scotty, pulling power from the shields and pushing it to lasers to target a pirate's engine room. You get to warp between sectors, explore nebulas, treaty with other species, everything a budding captain could desire is right there at your fingertips. What are you waiting for? Moving into RTS territory for a moment, we have Vega Conflict, which lets you construct and expand an interstellar space base, then do battle with hostile alien creatures. Like Vendetta, it's another grand MMO experience with PvP and an active economy. Like No Man's Sky, it tries to communicate the sense of a vast universe brimming with potential and danger. Again, it's not fast-paced arcade action, but it is an enjoyable slice of sci-fi. If you were sold on No Man's Sky by the prospect of zipping around the surface of a planet blasting enemy fighters, then Alpha Squadron might be your mug of Earl Grey hot. This one is less about exploration and obeying the Prime Directive, and much more about blasting living crap out of every starfighter with the nerve to point their lasers in your general direction. Good, mindless, shooty fun. It, so, you want to jump from planet to planet in your very own ship, run into weird alien life forms, then choose whether to make friends or let your blaster do the talking, then you'll be wanting to grab Knights of the Old Republic ASAP. You'll spend a lot more time exploring extraterrestrial cultures than you will piloting the Ebon Hawk, but when it comes to space-based intrigue, this one is tough to beat. Out there filled the void that existed before FTL came to mobile. It's similar to FTL in a lot of ways, letting you jump great distances through a stark and cruel universe, waiting for you to run into a pirate or run out of fuel or oxygen before dying a lonely death. But its focus on resources over crew management and the ability to investigate planets help it stand apart and make it a worthy space adventure all of its own. Star Command was one of the first high-profile Kickstarter projects where the end product didn't quite match the ambition of the initial pledge. That said, its mixture of Trek-flavoured uniforms, little green men with guns, and upgradable gear and ships made it a relatively simple but still enjoyable space-based diversion. Stick it on the bottom of your list. Speaking of zapping spacecraft out of the infinite black, Beyond Space is another third-person sci-fi romp which puts you in the space boots of a mercenary pilot who gets sucked into a web of political skullduggery and galactic conflict, most of which he tries to solve with his trigger finger. It's not the most polished game in our list, but it still has its explosive charms. Is that all you got? For a long time, Galaxy on Fire 2 was the yardstick against which other mobile sci-fi games were measured. 
Featuring visuals that still look decent to this day, the robust combat and trading sim lit up our iPads and our imaginations way back in 2010. You can mine for exotic metals, customize every aspect of your ship, and, of course, reduce space pirates to their component atoms with your cannons. It's deep, it's exciting, and it's still one of the best. Now, about that sequel.